Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris from the 365. I am up here on what is called the West ba Branch of the Feather River, which is actually the inlet where Lime Saddle Marina is just that way behind me there. So this is actually part of the lake, but this branch of the Feather River is called the West Branch of the Feather River. So I'm up here right now. I'm on my way up the canyon today to get a better look at where our water comes from. So I thought I would start here at um, probably the highest part of the lake that I can get Get to on Highway 70. So our water, well first let me say that, hello, well, I'm glad to be back. I'm back out here at the Lake, at Lake Orville like I always like to be. It was a great vacation I had but it is wonderful to be back and I thought I would talk about uh, where our water comes from and what news I've uh, gleaned in my past couple days of being back. So first off, um, there's been a stoppage of the uh, blasting up at the dam. There was a, we're called a mist blast. I've never actually had to use that word before, but um, apparently the uh, Kiwik blasted where they weren't supposed to blast. And so the Federal Regulatory Commission decided to shut down blasting until they could figure out why that happened and to make sure that it, where they blasted was safe and just generally give a quick little reset to make sure everything's going on okay there. Um, many people believe that was a miscommunication. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm just here to report what people have talked about. So um, also uh, they are on still on schedule for rebuilding the dam. They've laid uh, what they call leveling concrete down up at the dam right now and that's apparently what they will build the rest of the structure on there. So they're on um, they're on time to do that. They still believe that they will have the lower portion of the spillway finished by November and that next year they will start working on the upper portion of the spillway. Uh, I'm sorry, I should have said the lower portion of the spillway this year and the revamped emergency spillway including the uh, wall that will keep uh, from head cutting erosion going back up the emergency spillway if it ever needs to be used again. So anyway, uh, so this is like I said, the uh, part of the lake where Lime Saddle Marina is on. This is one of the three inlets to Lake Orville. I will only be crossing this one, the West Branch, right now on Highway 70. As I go up the canyon, I believe I'll be um, going up the middle fork of the Feather River. Please, if I get that wrong, feel free to comment and write that down below. You guys are real good at keeping me honest, so I'm real happy about that. But um, so I'll be going past places like Belden, Caribou, uh, all the way up to Quincy. So we're gonna, I'll, I'll stop in and give you a little um, brief explanation of where I am and just show you around real quick. And, um, but besides that, that is what I have today. What follows will be the, um, the movement up the canyon. I hope that you have enjoyed my video so far. I don't have a drone or I'd be flying this, but I did send the drone in for repair. So I should get some information back shortly and have another one within a week or two. So anyway, thank you for watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe, and definitely share. It seems like while I was gone, some people stopped uh, sharing the videos. Please share them, because that's the only way, that word of mouth is the only way that I advertise here, and we want to get the information out. That's the only way I can do it. So thank you very much. Have a great day, and as always, bye, and I will see you all tomorrow. All right, here's a first look at the Feather River Canyon off of Highway 70 down there with a pretty good flow is the middle fork of the Feather River. Let's get you a little bit of a look around here. I am up way too high again. You know, just where I always like to be. Let's see if we can get you zoomed in a little bit. That is the water that flows into Lake Orville right there. One of the one of the three branches. There we go. All 
All right, here's another view. This one is looking towards Oroville of the Feather River Canyon. That is the middle fork of the Feather River in front of me. You can see on the right hand side, there's a couple big fire breaks there. They need that up in this canyon because this place burns about once every two years, I would say. Look at the massive mountains that are above me. So that is water going into the Lake Orville even as we speak. And I have just entered the Plumas National Forest. Very pretty place. Hello everyone, I am in front of the Rock Creek Powerhouse on the North Fork of the Feather River. Let me do a real quick retraction. The past couple videos I said this was the Middle Fork. This is the North Fork of the Feather River. I don't know what was going on. Maybe I wasn't awake enough yet. I, I don't know, but that is definitely 100% right down there is the North Fork of the Feather River. So. Like I said, this is the Rock Creek Powerhouse. This is one of many powerhouses that are all along the North Fork of the Feather River and part of the uh, California State Water Project uh, with the PG&E that generates hydroelectric power for all of us and for uh, various pumping water throughout the state and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to talk too much longer here, but I will get you a quick little look around and I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a view of the area I'm in right now. Uh, beautiful area. This is not a spot to swim. Up a little ways you can swim a little. This whole North Fork of the Feather River, even in the times when the water isn't so high, is a little dangerous. So you have to be careful. I'm, a, I'm more of a wader than a swimmer, so I would wade in here. I would definitely not swim. Anyway, we'll get right to that video. So this is looking away from the Rock Creek Powerhouse, uh, north towards Quincy. And bring us along here and it's back and that is the actual Rock Creek powerhouse right there 